Hi everyone, so today we're going to continue our 2023 uh, predictions journey. Uh, let's call it a journey. Today we're going to be looking into the finances situation in 2024 for you. Um, I say finances, but it's anything material-wise. It can be uh, you moving house, you buying a car, you traveling, um, maybe you win the lottery. I don't know. Those types of things we're going to look at. What is coming for you material-wise, financial-wise in 2024? Um, as always, you can still book private readings with me as well. Uh, I also have the 2024 personal private uh, predictions available as well. One hour full um, a reading for you guys. You can book everything. Uh, the email address is in the description, description box below. Send me an email. I'll get back to you with all the information that you need to know about that. Uh, if you're interested in the 2024 predictions, let me know in the email because I don't have it in my spreadsheet. Um, but let me know and I'll send you the details on that as well. Also in the description box, you'll find a link tree link. If you go over there, you'll find my personal Instagram as well as my TikTok account. On TikTok, I tend to go live almost every day. Go check that out. Uh, for anyone that feels generous and would like to make a donation to the channel, on the link tree link, you'll also find my PayPal donations, my Tiki. If you are in the Netherlands, you know what that is. If you feel generous, would like to donate a deck to the channel, there's also my Amazon wishlist, like anything you can find over there. Um, look it up. It's fun. Anyway, today's reading, we're going to be looking into the material things coming to you in 2024 or maybe leaving you in 2024. Let's just take a look. Pile number one, you are going to be this seashell right here. This seashell for pile number one. Pile number two, you are going to be this little plate right here. Um, it says it is, how do you say that, like a book to remember the page, put it between the pages in the book type thing. I don't know what the English words is for it, but it's this beautiful, beautiful one. And pile number three, you are going to be the coin. I have this coin. Uh, it's a yes and no coin. Uh, flip a coin, uh, a coin. I don't know why I wanted to add this in for today's reading, but... I saw it, I was like, okay, I want to use that. Um, so yeah, that's for pile number three. So if you need some more time to figure out which pile belongs to you, then pause the video here. And otherwise, I will talk to you guys in your reading. Hi, pile number one. If you chose this seashell right here, then this is going to be your reading today. So we're going to be looking into your 2023 predictions uh, when it comes to financial and material matters um that can be again a job it can be a house moving can literally be your finances anything we can get for you on this so let's just dive in pile number one with this beautiful seashell what is their 2024 financial situation gonna be like anything material wise what is coming to them in 2024 okay um let's see what we have so far and then i'll pick some more because this is not going to be enough we have the two of swords we have the page of cups the king of wands temperance and the six of swords What else for pile number one in their 2024 financial situation? What is going to change or happen for them in 2024 when it comes to their finances? Okay, let's see the second row. We have the queen of ones. We have the lovers. We have the nine of pentacles. The seven of ones. The ten of ones. And the strength card. Okay, this is more than I wanted, but it's fine. Let's see if I can make it fit. Does it? Well, kind of. It kind of, kind of is good enough. Okay, at the bottom, we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups. Okay, so I'm asking about financial situations. For some of you, I feel like there might be a financial situation coming in then, but in the form of like a new relationship even. Um... I do see an improvement 
in the financial situation and it's coming in the form of like there is a decision that has to be made and i think that decision is you walking away from a certain situation that might without like a backup type of thing because you know it's not good for you so you move out of it i do see a new opportunity coming towards you after that right because i see there's that indecisiveness and i think if you've had like an option where you're like, well, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to change to this. Then it would be an easy change. But I feel like it's going to be a hard choice because you know it's not good for you, but you don't have like a backup ready. Um, and then when you take that chance and move forward, move away, I think that new opportunity is coming in um, for you. Work-wise, I definitely see an improvement um, in finances. I see a lot of hard work. Um Okay, I'm not so sure if it's like an improvement necessary. It's more, I'm getting more so like that you are satisfied with what it is that you have and you get. I am getting very distracted by you, your pile, pile number one, uh, because I'm seeing a lot of like, usually a lot of relationships happening. Again, I feel like there might be a relationship coming in for you. Um, with that queen and king of wands as well. <sighs> Let's move back to like work and other material things. I think next year is going to be your time to balance. Trying to find that perfect middle ground for you to um, thrive in. I think you are going to be very stable. I think um, you've been working very hard towards this. There will be a point where you're like doubting whether or not you should give up or move on ten of ones is very tired energy seven of ones is being very defensive um where this is something that you have like work-wise i feel that this there might be a shift in career where i feel like you have been working towards this for a very long time, defending yourself and your actions towards other people, but it's gotten to the point where you're very tired, you're not sure why you're doing it anymore, why you want to continue, what is keeping you in this place. Um, and I think that's where the choice and the decision will come, where you're like, okay, maybe I need to take a look somewhere else, because this is asking a lot of energy from you as well. I do feel that there is going to be some sort of like offer coming in, um very unexpected maybe um coming on your way and you're again a bit doubting like should i shouldn't i uh not sure um i think it's definitely something of the heart where i think financially wise it doesn't really matter much which decision you make um To me, the Six of Swords is like moving away from a situation that's like not just not right for you anymore, but sometimes can even be like very hurtful. Whether that's working with colleagues or whatnot. Um, moving forward. For some of you, this can also be the decision of moving house. Maybe even moving countries. Um... The Page of Cups is here. I want to, I go, I feel like I'm going everywhere. I'm not like in a straight line. But that Page of Cups is looking at me where the Page of Cups to me is something surprising happening. Again, that can be winning the lottery. That that like when we're asking about like finances, it's like a surprise. Um, again, that you win some money, that you inherit some money. Um, but very like suddenly very unexpectedly um, it can also be that like while you are cleaning like your parents house or something you bump into something that's very old and like worth a lot of money type thing you know we have this program in the Netherlands where old usually old people bring their old stuff and then uh, they tell you what the worth is of that object that you've brought. Um, I feel like you might run into something like that. 
Um, it's going to be a very surprise, unexpected, and it will be a lot of money. Uh, not a lot, but like sufficient. It's not like going to make you a millionaire, but it's like sufficient. Um, I think work-wise, again, on the job, it's going to be a tough year um, with the strength card being here. I think if you set, put your mind to it, you can do anything. And I think that is a very, like, thing to remember if you are in that situation of the Two of Swords where you're not sure. You are strong enough, you got this, and you know deep down within that this is the path that you need to take. You need to move forward, move on. Um, for some of you, I'm seeing a lot. So for some of you, I also see, like, moving house, like, uh, relocating also being a thing it's not going to be an easy decision that you have to make uh, but i feel like you know that that is the right thing i do have to say you cannot have it all with that temperance being here there needs to be a balance you cannot have it all you need to give something in order to get something there is that balance there um so be mindful of that as well okay let me get some oracles on this i feel like with you guys pile number one i'm going all over the place um but hopefully you will understand hopefully it resonated let me take a look with some oracles for you guys on this so pile number one that, that their financial situation um just material situation what is going to change in 2024 we have the goblins, okay. We have cleaning house. And we have a balancing act, okay. So I am on the right track. I felt like I was like all over the place, but this is definitely, maybe it's all like multiple things, you know? It's not one or two things that are happening, but multiple things. Um, definitely cleaning house. Again, I feel like there is something like in someone's, maybe even literally cleaning out a house. Uh, you stumble upon something um, that has some sort of worth. I definitely feel that can also be like moving house. Um, again, with the balancing act, you cannot have it all. There are some give and take. There is some balancing that needs to be done with that temperance, finding the middle path. Um, and it's not going to be easy to keep that balance. Some days it's going to be up. Sometimes it's going to be down. So with that, I feel like your finances and the situation will fluctuate a whole lot during the year. Um, like appliances breaking, you need to, you know, buy a new one, having a, a dip in your finances. But with that nine of pentacles here, I feel like it's not going to be very like dramatic lows or dramatic highs with that goblins i do feel that there are still some hidden things um i feel like there is going to be some sort of situation that you're kind of dreading and you're expecting it to be a, a high expense of some sorts like there's some fear around it and you're like oh, i don't want to do this i don't want to go there because it's going to be the worst it's going to be i'm going to hate it uh, i don't want to um but when you take a closer look at the goblins like they look scary look at those eyes like lurking but if you take a look at the goblins as they are in the light they are just cute little creatures you know wouldn't harm a fly um so there is still some cloudedness around some sort of financial situation for some of you where you're expecting the worst but when you look at it well it's fine it's all right again finding that middle ground finding that balancing middle path uh, with those decisions again for you guys this year i'm not seeing a lot of high highs i do see some surprises coming in and to me the um, the Page of Cups is like a good surprise coming in. But more so with that cleaning house as well. Appreciating your abundance as it is in the moment. Appreciating what you have already. What is already in your possession. Um, 
So overall, I don't see any like major where I'm like, oh, this is gonna like, oh, this is gonna cost you money or. Again, with that six of swords, for some of you, it can be like travel or moving, um, being like the major expense this year, this coming year. And again, for others of you, I'm feeling there can be a partner coming in with finances that has a good, like, you know, finances or maybe even the burden as well. Combining houses or combining uh, finances and trying to find, again, the middle ground, the best way for the both of you to make it happen. A lot of hard choices needed to be made. But I honestly feel that, you know, as long as you guys keep the balance, keep that middle path, not going like, I want it this way, so we are going to do it this way, you know. Keep it in the middle path, and I feel like you guys will work it out. There are some surprises coming about, but I don't see major losses or major troubles with this one for you guys. Uh, let's take a look. What else for pile number one? We have bring love into the situation with the new moon in Aquarius and we have the new moon in Libra with a new romantic cycle begins. A new romantic cycle. Okay, we're talking about finances, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> For some of you, it can also be, again, a new job opportunities. Um, and you... I feel for some of you where you're, like, doubting whether or not you should change jobs one the fact that that's on your mind is already a big tell right where i'm just feeling you should second i feel like there's a lot of love involved in the option the other option where you're like i would love to do this i would love to give this a shot and a try um again bring love into the situation if you don't love your job and there's an opportunity for something that you find exciting go do that exciting thing have that experience if it's not for you then you can always um, move back with it for, and for, again for some of you we're talking about finances but for some of you there is with that new romantic cycle it is also the the year of love things can happen very quickly uh, when it comes to finances again combining finances or living together or having a roommate kind of thing uh sharing you know sharing your material abundance with love as well combining that so that's exciting that is very exciting uh let me get some final um cards for you guys i'm not hating this this is a good year this is you know Good, stable, balancing act, keeping the balance. Okay, I do see for like one or two of you, not, not too many of you, that, that are already in a situation with low finances, low abundance, that it is going to be with that balancing act, a balancing act to keep your head above water but with these cards and strength and all the effort that you put in i feel like you will pull through uh, again with that six of cups there are some things that you can do to improve your finances um for instance things like quitting with smoking or um certain um like trying to get deals on i don't know your phone bill or something like that where i feel like there are things you can actively do to keep the balance you know to make it easier to breathe um for you guys on that i do feel that you will pull through this year that it's going to be tough but i feel like you will um pull through for those of you that are in a situation like that i feel like there might be some opportunities for working from home working remotely um I don't know, like online, 
I see like an online business of selling stuff from your home type thing. Um, that might be something that you're interested in. Go check that out as well. Go um, look into that. Okay, let me get some final oracles for you guys. Pile number one. Their financial situation in 2024. What is their financial situation going to be like in 2024? Okay, let's see what we have so far. We have nurture and compassion. Yeah. To me, that's just also nurture and compassion towards yourself for pulling yourself through this. Um, overall, that's to me the same with the balancing act. Just beautiful uh, middle ground. We have the autumn with harvest. So maybe around autumn time, you'll have like a peak in finances around autumn we have fulfillment with wish wish fulfillment love that so like the, i feel i definitely feel that there are some things that you've been wanting to do or just certain desires that it is that you want maybe a bigger car a bigger house whatever that is i think that is a wish fulfillment that that's definitely going to happen we have the ace of earth with taurus virgo and capricorn to me, the Ace of Earth is new opportunities when it comes to uh, work as well. So love that. We also have the Spring with Seeds. And we have Decisions. Again, with that Two of Swords as well. Decisions. Okay. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have a Third Eye with Clarity. The Third Eye with Clarity. So for you guys, I definitely feel that there are going to be new opportunities coming in for you in 2024. Uh, new job opportunities, either moving house. Um, I feel like the desires that you had when it comes to your finances, I think you will get there. I think you will make it happen this year. Um, again, I see do see some sort of like surprise happening, unexpected gain of finances or material things that you were not necessarily expecting so that's fun definitely a lot of hard work um there is some decision again a hard decision that we're a decision you're having a hard time making um happening when it comes to your finances but i think you will pull through i think you will pull through i just see a lot of good nice energy having a goal working towards it along the way enjoyment um again for some of you it might be um emerging finances with a partner so a busy year when it comes to your finances next year i kind of i honestly kind of want to leave it here because i feel like i'm just going to repeat what it is that i've already been telling you so i am gonna leave it here for you guys i hope it was helpful i hope it resonated if it did definitely let me know in the comments down below i love reading you know your uh goals and intentions for next year um i'm very you know excited for that surprise coming in for you guys next year um but yeah i hope it was helpful let me know in the comments down below uh, like the video if you enjoyed watching it subscribe if you haven't already that's very helpful for me shows your support to me and the channel as well as you become part of our community that we're building here so thank you so much for being here for all the love and support i have been getting have a wonderful kick-ass rest of your day go get them enjoy this year of your finances and abundance and hopefully i will talk to you guys again in the next reading hi pile number two so if you chose this one right here then this is going to be your reading today so we're going to be looking into your 2024 predictions for the, your financial situation as well as any other material um things in your life that can be a house a car a traveling um anything like that so if you chose this one look at that that's beautiful this um is also a korean uh nod for luck i believe um so i absolutely love this i got this as a present and it's like gorgeous it's gorgeous anyway let's take a look at your reading for today let's see 
So your 2022, or sorry, 2024 um, financial situation. What is going to happen? Anything materialized coming, going? Uh, what can you expect? What can you prepare for? Pile number two, their financial situation for 2024, as well as any other abundance and material situations that are coming in. Okay, oops. Let me gather everything and then we can take a look at what we have. First off, we have the Five of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Nine of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Shadow Side, which is the Devil in this deck. And we have the Two of Swords and I kind of want to get two more cards for you guys. Let's see if I can get them out and tell number two 2024 okay we have the tower as well as the four of ones okay and at the bottom of the deck we have the ace of swords as well okay 2024 material things finances anything that we can get from this i think it's going to be very turmoil <laughs> um year maybe a bit emotional as well when it comes to um finances for some, okay, there's one very clear thing that comes to my mind and that's like a moment having a moment where when it comes to like material things like a car, um, the washing machine, um, a computer, I think there is going to be a moment where a lot of things are going to like break down. Not a lot of things. Usually it's like three things in a row. And then every time you're like, why, why does this always happen to me? Like very emotionally. So I do feel that there is some financial like loss at some point and i think it's going to be a couple things i think it's going to be like three things like the washing machine um i don't know the dishwasher and the fridge or something like that you know where it's like three things uh almost back to back that like breaks down um and that's gonna be a bit stressful so think about it it's not that much of a deal I think that it's just a lot of stress upon up stress. Um, with that Queen of Pentacles, I feel, and with that Nine of Wands, I feel like it's okay. It's not going to be that much of a burden that you cannot afford it. Um, I do feel that it's um, just going to be very like frustrating, annoying. You don't want to spend that money on one of those things. I think you might be saving up for something different and then having to you know take some money out of that to fix something like that um but apart from that i feel with that queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles is abundant right she has a lot of things um that she can need um i think there are just a lot again a lot of stress a lot of emotions involved it's money that you don't want to spend on that but at the same time there is not really much an option you're like okay or I don't know, your car breakdown or something like that, where like, okay, I need a car, I need to fix this. Um, I have the money, I didn't want to use it, it's just very annoying. Um, but at the same time, I think it's going to be all right. I think it's going to be all right. Um, I kind of want to take a look at that tower energy. What is that tower energy? Here, what is that sudden upheaval here? We have the seven of pentacles and the six of wands. Yeah, I think that's just like one of those things that are going to happen that cost money where there is going to be with that two of swords a little bit of a moment where you're like, do I need to fix this or do I need to spend that money really like right now or don't I, will I, don't I, will I, don't I. I think you will in the end. It's going to be fine. It's just going to be very frustrating, <laughs> very annoying. Um... Because I feel like you might be planning some sort of like trip or vacation or like moving to 
like you're not moving like across the the street right i think it's going to be far away that you're moving um i think yeah it's just a bit where it's like oh, you know just frustrating <laughs> um if you need it with that four of ones if you hit that point if you need some extra cash or money um or need to like borrow a car or whatever i think like going to your family they will support you they will have your back again i understand it's just so frustrating i just feel so frustrated with this uh, but in the end you know what really matters is there is that it's you know you have it everyone's healthy safe it's just very frustrating which is understandable but it, i don't see it as a big deal right also it gives you the opportunity to be grateful for when it does work when things don't break down that you can like you don't have to wash your clothes by hand and whatnot uh, so i do feel that there is going to be the opportunity for it i still think that you are going to be very abundant this year it's just frustrating um, I don't think it's going to change anything that, like, if you are planning a trip, that those things breaking down are going to keep you from taking that trip. I don't think it's going to be that much of a uh, nuance. Um, again, it might be the case that you might need to lend some money from people, from your loved ones. But again, I don't think it's, like, that much of a burden. It's more so, like, you don't want to, but there's no choice. It happening you need to fix this it's just like annoying type thing um let me get some more oracles on you on this for you guys and hopefully we can get some more something else uh what else is happening with your abundance in 2024 with how number two's finances and material business things okay we have flying we have spark and we have details details with uh, in the details we have clarity important notes so with that tower moment i feel like there is going to be some sort of clarity happening as well that is going to be a major like financial burden but at the same time you will you will gain a lot of clarity from it as well um like lessons can be learned from that as well i don't know if it's like i don't know like you have a flat tire and you you learn that you need to um the pressure in your tires need to check that regularly there's some sort of lesson that can be learned from that um at the same time when it comes to finances of gaining finances with that spark and flying i feel like you're just like on a right path of earning uh money i think that'll be fine there might be some creative idea that you would like to do for some of you you might have like some sort of business that you want to set up doing that simultaneously uh from your job again if something that breaks down is very frustrating you cannot put in as much um financial funds into that situation it might be a case for some of you with the details details that you need to watch your spending a little bit uh for these breakdowns happening don't splunder um make sure you save some money on the side for things breaking down because i feel like it will happen and it will be very frustrating um when it does um and don't let me tell you i told you so um <laughs> Because I just feel that that's just, you know, going to happen and it's going to be frustrating. But, like, apart from that, I don't see any, like, major um, changes. I think there is going to be a moment this year where you are going to think about either switching your job or changing jobs or looking for a different job. Um, I don't see... I wanted to say I don't see like a sudden, um, how do you say it, like that you get fired or something and that you don't have a job and you have to hastily find another job. For some of you, I feel like you are, maybe there, for some of you, gonna be an announcement that they um, 
the job you work for are no longer how do you say it when they go bankrupt or something but there will be an announcement and you will have the time to find another job um that might also be that stressful thing that you might tap into your savings for a little bit but again we have the nine of uh, the queen of pentacles so i don't see it being that much of a burden i think it's just going to be very it can be a stressful situation or a stressful moment uh, but i don't think it's going to be stressful throughout the year okay let me get some more oracles for you guys on this so pile number two their financial situation is 2024 abundance and other material uh, things what is going on with 2024 for them with that we have nothing is yet set in stone and that's kind of what i got i see all the options still being very much open a lot of different things can happen just depending on the choices that you make the situation that you end up in um with things breaking down and whatnot, again, it's not yet set in stone. There are still things you can do to prevent that. Maybe, I don't know, if you had, like, your car in the Netherlands, you have to check your car every year. And there are some points come out where they're like, well, this is something that you need to um, keep out on. And these are the things that we actually need to fix. And I think some of the points where it's like, oh, you need to look for out for these, um, those things might come up now with like when you check your car again where they're like oh no we need to fix this um you know which you can prepare for and whatnot as well nothing yet set in stone um it's very much still open we also have be bold and make the first move with that if you are looking for a new job or wanting a new job be bold go look for it go just like get some information or go dive into that okay i'm i'm feeling that maybe maybe i want a different job i'm not sure then go look for different jobs what do you think that you would like so that if something happens where you need to like now have a new job um that you're prepared that you know what you want what you are looking for uh what it is about the job that you're having that you enjoy what is it that you don't enjoy what would you like to have in the job um do a little bit of soul searching but you make the first move don't feel like you are like pushed in a corner and then have to make a decision or a choice because it's going to be very stressful it's going to be very hard to make a choice and to It's almost where I feel like if you're, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm getting this feeling with that five cups as well, where there might come a time where something comes along. You need to make a decision, but you were so not prepared that you're having a hard time making that decision because you just genuinely don't know what to do. Um, that can be if you like, you need to buy a new car. Or, you know, and you have no idea what type of car or how long of car, but you need a car like tomorrow. Um, but I feel like this will, if it resonates for you, you know what I'm talking about, what this situation is. If you're like, I have no idea. Do I now need to look up a backup car? Do I now need to? Don't worry. <laughs> if it didn't resonate, if you're like, I have no idea what you're talking about don't go now like look for different jobs or so this is only if that resonates if there's like this this tingle within you that's going like oh i know that's me that's me then you know that you can just start looking or start researching um a little bit again nothing's yet set in stone everything's still very much uh an open book um still reading the book so Okay, let me get some final messages for you guys on your financial situation in 2024 for pile number two. The 2024 financial situation. What can they expect? What is going to happen? Can they prepare for? Okay, let me gather everything. It went everywhere. <laughs> Let's see what we 
have first off we have the shadow side the moon and the dark night with that like i said i feel like it's still very much hidden still very much where it's like i cannot give you a clear answer as to what it's going to be about or uh what the situation is uh, but let's see we also have the epiphany and breakthrough love that that's kind of the one where i was like mm, i'm not sure but this is it's happening an epiphany we have freedom leap and opportunities love that we have message travel and communication we have cycles change and completion we have regret and repression. We have forming solid foundations with structure. And we have truth with expression. So these are good vibes. Good vibes. Um, again, I feel like there's a lot going on. But I think one, you can handle it well. Two, there might be some sort of like travel or vacation happening. Um, I do, don't see like a sad ending. I feel like it's going to be very, it's, I feel like it's going to be a surprise until you get there. I think it will give you a lot of opportunities. For some of you, it might be, again, like the loss of a job. Um, but there's going to be, it's not going to be, well, you don't have a job right now. You don't come in tomorrow. I think there is some time in between that. It can give you some new opportunities, new, even like freedoms of like, oh, now I'm free. I can do whatever. What do I want to do? You know, that being the main thing, you know, with that forming solid, uh, foundation, I feel like you have a very solid foundation or for some of you where you feel like you don't have a solid foundation I feel like this is going to be the opportunity for you to form those solid foundations uh expressing your truth who what do you want i feel like that's just basically gonna be this year where you're gonna have situations and it, those situations are just opportunities where you can express what is it that you want you know, make from a negative a positive. If your dryer breaks, do you need a dryer? Um, do you feel that you want to reduce your energy cost uh, and footprint? Um, and then go like, well, you know what? I don't actually need a dryer. This is a good opportunity for to get rid of it. Um, and with all of those things, you know, are opportunities for you to express your truth buy a new car get that job that you always wanted to go for i think these are like accidents like blessings in disguise of accidents right where i definitely i'm like i'm not hating this i feel like a lot of new opportunities come for you guys when it comes to abundance when it comes to uh material things when it comes to travel when it comes to you know I think this is going to be a year where you can either go on autopilot and maybe have regrets or speak your truth, express your truth and go at it with like, well, I'm going to try it because at least then I've tried it and I won't have any regrets. When it comes to you wanting to change jobs, when it comes to um, you traveling, when it comes to, like, everything material-wise. Let me be changing, moving house, or... Um, for some of you, it might also be the case where you want to, like, sell a house and go live smaller or away or something. There are opportunities for you to, like, um, have, like, a test drive, right? Uh, where you want to see if this is something for you where you want to commit I think this year for you guys, pile number two, is definitely the year of trying new things, experiencing new things, um, finding. I think, yes, there are things that are going to happen that has will have a major impact in your life, but I'm not hating it. I am definitely not hating it. I see a lot of opportunities, new chances, new excited, a lot of excited energy um so yeah i am gonna leave the reading here for you guys i because otherwise i'm just gonna repeat <laughs> what it is that i've been um 
saying already. So I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it did, definitely let me know in the comments down below as always. Like the video if you enjoyed watching it. Subscribe if you haven't already. That's very helpful for me. So thank you for doing that, uh, for showing your support that way as well. Um, and becoming part of our community that we're building here as well. So yes, thank you all for being here for the love and support. Have a wonderful kick-ass rest of your day, a kick-ass year. Go and enjoy this. Um, it's going to be a lot, but it's going to be a fun, like with, uh, make sure you have no regrets. Um, so yeah, go kick ass. You got this. And hopefully I will talk to you guys again in the next reading. Hi, pile number three. So if you chose this coin right here, then this is going to be your reading today. So we're going to be looking into um, 2024, your financial situation, uh, your abundance, your material things. This can go from moving, from jobs, from traveling, from, I don't know, buying a car. Uh, anything we can get, pretty much. I do want to flip this coin. Um, just because, I don't know, I feel like it. So if you have a question in mind, keep it in your mind and then I'll flip the coin. And then if it's going to be a yes or no, let's just see what comes up. We have a yes. We have a yes. Okay, let's just keep that up there. And then just let's take a look at your 2024 financial uh, situation. What's going to happen? What can we expect? What can we prepare for? Anything abundance material-wise, what we can get. Let's take a look. Pile number three, your financial situation in 2024, uh, material things, situation, anything that we can get for you for a prediction of 2024. Okay, let's see what we have so far, and then I'll take a look if we need some more. We might, but let's see what we have. First off, we have the Wheel of the Year. Next up, we have the Queen of Swords. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. I want to get three more to fill out this row for pile number three, their financial situation in 2024. Okay, let's see what we have. We also have the King of Cups, we have the Three of Pentacles, and we have the Six of Wands. Okay, and then at the bottom we have the Ten of Swords, as well as the Star. Okay, I'm going to add that in as well. I feel like financially wise, with that Ten of Swords and the Star, I feel like at least at the beginning of the year, maybe at the moment right now and then into the new year, it might have been a very tough year when it comes to finances, abundance, uh, material wise. Uh, but with the star underneath that, that to me talks about having high hopes for the future. So during the year, I feel like the it will change um, from a very dire situation into um, a more hopeful one. With that wheel of the year, definitely to start it off, to me the wheel of the year is ending of cycles. It's also a full year when it comes to timing. Um, ending of cycles, new cycles, new beginnings. Uh, in combination with that ace of pentacles, I definitely see new opportunities. Uh, you getting a new job, you getting a raise, like improving in your financial situation with the knight of pentacles here however i do feel it's going to be a long road it's not going to be easy it's not going to be a quick fix uh, but i do feel that there is um a growing line that it is going to get up uh, especially with that page of pentacles here as well um there might be some like working together for some of you i feel like it could be a situation where um I don't know how what it's called in English. I think it's like something with like social social services. Here in the Netherlands, we have a service where if your debt are too great, there is this company that will take over your financial situation, will help you pay off the debt, help you get in contact with all the um, all the businesses you like you own money and how to deal with that and making arrangements and whatnot um it can be helpful to get 
help with that or it can be helpful to have like a financial coach or someone that helps you out with that can also be just uh, a family member uh, that just helps you out uh, work on it together and to make it like better fix help um, for some of you it can also be where it's not in that situation it can be you working together with someone in a new venture um, if you want to start a new business or um, like a new job and then coming together working together on that situation I definitely feel that this year is going to be you going up with that 10 of cups as well you feeling better as well about your finances I think there's a lot of contemplating going on with how did this happen how can I prevent it from happening again how what can we do to the next step um because the hanged man is gaining knowledge it's hanging there contemplating reflecting to gain knowledge uh, in the future I kind of want to take a look why that queen of swords is here because I think it's a good thing to with that queen of swords I don't think to me, the Queen of Swords, when it comes to like financial situations, she is a very logical thinking. Where this is what needs to happen. This is what we're going to do. This is the next step. Without like emotions getting involved here. Uh, but let's take a look what that Queen of Swords is doing here. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Uh, we have the Nine of Wands and we have the Knight of Cups. So, okay, yeah. You might be a bit... Um, cold or standoffish about the idea of a new job coming in um, for some of you it might be the case that like a love interest comes in and you're kind of holding it a bit off because you're so focused on your financial health and getting back on top of that um, and be a bit defensive when opening up to that person for others of you it can also be just like a new job offer coming in where I feel like for some of you you might have set yourself a goal that this is what you want to make or this is the job that you want to pursue and then this new job opportunity comes in which is very tempting but again you're a bit defensive about it because you know this is the goal that you set and you want to work on that and this new thing coming in is not really like part of it and you might like shut it off a bit make sure with that queen of wands that you're not the Queen of Wands can have the tendency to be a bit of an ice queen in her com communication. Very direct, very cold. Um, if that opportunity comes in, don't shut it out just because right now you don't have the time, energy or, or finances to do that. Keep that door open. Just go like, you know, I really like the idea, but right now I'm just so preoccupied elsewhere. Um, I would love to get back to you on this in a later stadium. Is that okay with you? Um, don't shut it up keep an open mind to it um whatever that is coming in i feel for some of you that are in a uh committed relationship that you guys might communicate differently when it comes to the finances that you're not you're i feel like you are on one page but the way you guys communicate is just very different from each other and there might be some uh, miscommunication going on where you guys mean the same thing but you're just communicating it differently that the other person doesn't understand. Be aware of that as well. That might be a thing uh, playing. At the very end, <laughs> we have the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands to me is victory. It is accomplishment. It is celebration. Um, so I do feel that with a lot of work, a lot of um, working together, coming together with that star here as well, with hope. I feel like you will pull through. It will happen. Um, there's just a lot of new, almost like new beginnings happening. With that Ace of Pentacles as well. New opportunities. This, with the wheel, where you're in with that Ten of Swords, which is a lot of pain, a lot of hurt. This is a cycle. This cycle too shall pass. And... I think that's just how you start the year. It's going to be a long year. Because I think that, that victory and that hope will happen a little bit at the end of the year. Um, I'm getting like autumn vibes. Um, it's going to be tough. It's going to be hard. But there are also with that Ten of Cups a lot of moments of happiness. Um, 
being grateful and thankful for what it is that you do have. Because a lot of people don't know this, but gratefulness is happiness. Let me get some oracles for you guys on this situation. Because, like, if you think about it, the moments where you have been the happiest in the in your life are the moments where you were grateful. Grateful for what you have. Grateful that you are able to experience this moment. So being grateful is happiness for you. Um, and there's a lot with that Ten of Cups. A lot to be grateful for still. Um... But let me take a look with some oracles for you guys at this. So pile number three, your financial and abundance uh, in 2024, material things, anything that we can get. Let's see what we have. First off, we have spirit of place. Spirit of place. We have metamorphosis and we have the mountain. So the mountain to me is also the desert, right? Um, it's scary, um, there is not a lot of abundance and it's hard to, um, make abundance there. Uh, with that metamorphosis, I feel, again, transformation happening, uh, being grateful for what it is that you do have, as well as work on the things transform with that Ace of Pentacles, new opportunities coming in, um, Maybe even figuring yourself out again as well. And then Spirit of Place is, to me, Universe is Mother Earth being there. Again, with that Wheel of the Year as well. That's also like the inevitable uh, cycles, ending of cycles. Spirit guiding you in a certain direction. Um, again, I'm not hating this. This is... I don't like I don't think maybe I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I come across with how I talk. Um... I am a very like sensitive reader, so I go off of emotion, what I'm feeling. Um, and sometimes I have a hard time describing that. Um, and I go off of the extremes. I, not everyone, it's that extreme, right? But like overall, I see a lot of opportunity, a lot of hard work. And I think it's going to go upwards. At the beginning of the year, I don't think you're going to feel great about it, about the situation that you're in. But by the end of the year, there's victory, there's celebration, there is looking back and seeing, like, look what I have done this year. Look what I pulled off. Um, a lot of gratefulness, a lot of being proud of yourself. I'm not, I'm absolutely loving this situation because like the situation that you're in you cannot change you work with what you have and you pull it off that's what i'm seeing here it will take time it's not going to be like you know the next week it's going to be 10 times better but i feel like it's going to go good it's going to go good okay let me get some more oracles for you guys 2024 financial situation First off, we have a time for healing, and that is with that metamorphosis, that is that change, that uh, going from a caterpillar into a butterfly. A time for healing, a time for, you know, what do we need to move forward? And with that hangman, just to take a bit of a breather as well. Um, we also have your commitment is being tested. Your commitment is being tested. I honestly feel that you're doing great. You're doing good. You are... I I feel like it's hard for me to pinpoint one certain situation of what is going on. Because I feel like there's a lot of very different nuanced situations. Just the feeling is the same. Where you're just feeling crap. But having high hope for the future, commitment is being tested, you are going to pull through. Don't forget to take a breather from time to time. And I think you are very much like this year working on your foundation, getting everything in order. And I think, again, I feel like you are going to pull through. New op a lot of, like new opportunities coming in, chances to work together. We've got Ten of Cups feeling... 
thankful, grateful, happy. Um, so yeah, let me get some final messages for you guys. I feel like I'm just going to repeat myself over and over. But I still want to give you these uh, as well. So let's take a look. Pile number three. Their 2024 financial predictions and their abundance next year. Okay, let's take a look at what we have so far. And if we need some more, I don't think so. But let's just see. First off, we have family home commitment. Family home commitment. We have renewal and spark. We have ego, vanity, and pride. We have the Ace of Air with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Deception, Temptation. We have Transcendence and Unity. And we have Nurture and Compassion. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have Guarded and Vulnerability. So I definitely feel this is going to be a turmoilous ter 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 year for you uh, when it comes to finances and whatnot. I feel more so that, again, unity, family, renewal, there is a lot of unit. And for some of you, a relationship being a major part in your financial situation. I definitely think you guys will pull through. You will make it happen um, with that Ten of Swords and that vulnerability you know, it's going to be tough. It's not going to be the easiest start of the year. Um, but I feel like there's just, one, a lot going on financially. Two, a lot of new opportunities with that Ace of Air here as well. Maybe even renewal or getting back to an old job. Um, I'm not a hating this year for you guys. Because I'm seeing a lot of hopeful energy, a lot of energy of making it work, of pulling yourself together, get your ass out there, working hard, making it happen. And I think this is the year where you really work on your foundation, your healing moving forward, and that there's going to be some tests for your commitment, whether that's the commitment to your relationship, to your uh, job. I think things are going to be removed or, you know, if your car breaks down uh, and you're not sure whether or not you want to repair the car, just wants to buy a new car, that type of thing where it's going to be a test where it's like, well, do you want to keep it? Or, or is this the opportunity that you were looking for to get it out of your life? Um, I feel like I kind of want to leave it here because otherwise I think I'm going to keep repeating myself. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it here for you guys. I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it did, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed watching it. Subscribe if you haven't already. That's very helpful for me. Shows your support to me and the channel. As well as you become part of our little community. So thank you all so, so much for doing so. For being here. For all the love and support I have been getting. Have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. Go go kick ass this year. Go get them. You absolutely got this. Um, have a wonderful rest of your day and hopefully I will talk to you guys again in the next reading.